Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello ladies and gentlemen Today I will present about my idea entitled The development of total physical response with communicative approach method in English learning based on Indonesian culture introduction for students in elementary school Firstly Foreign language is tool to communicate between humans of other countries. So, learning a foreign language is considered an unifying language and can be used for communication purpose. It can even be said that learning a foreign language is an essence of life in this modern era. Furthermore, learning and mastering a foreign language can also improve someone's own abilities, understand other cultures with self-initiative attitudes, be able to adapt and interact in teams from different linguistic and cultural backgrounds, and be able to be open-minded and broad-minded. There are so many foreign languages in this world because its country has its own language. English is no exception. English is the language used in development science and technology and also used as an international language. So it is an obligation for each person being to master English for self-improvement and development in this era. But uh, in Indonesia, English has been taught since the elementary school level. I'll talk it's not yet mandatory, but it's required at the next level. Then, based on the previous statement, in its implementations in English learning to elementary school students, it's not easy at all. Children have unique characteristics and they tend to have a short level of concentrations and require more exercise and body movements in understanding the English vocabulary that being tough. And so, there is a need for media and learning methods that allow them to be active during the class and the learnings in classrooms. This is reinforced by research data which stated that at the age of 5 to 12 years, where these aids are kindergarten and elementary schools aids, children as uh, learners, as young learners, are very difficult to be teach English. So it's very important to develop a method that requires children to be more active and more resilience in this class. From the previous statement above, it can be seen that the development of innovative models of language and cultural learning is very important. However, until now, the method that integrated learning English and an innovative and cultural integrations for foreign language is still very limited. In fact, the method in learning foreign language is very important things. As an addition, the application of learning English in elementary schools also must pay attention to the characteristic of children at that age. Simply put, that learning English must be concrete and able to reflect it in real terms by students, not just an abstract principles. So in this case, the teachers act as a learning companion and supervisors, while students play a much more effective role, is very important. The teachers have to give more instructions while the students will implement the instructions. Therefore, the idea of the development of total physical response with communicative approach or TPRTI method in learning English based on Indonesian culture introductions for students in elementary schools was initiated. This method integrates learning English through the total physical response with the communicative approach which is supported by the addition of Indonesian culture materials. The purpose of this research are to describe the development of total physical response with communicative approach method in Indonesian culture based English learning for students in elementary schools and the application of this method. The implication of this research is the method that has been initiated can be applied in the future so it will be able to improve children's communication skills in English and at the end, language learning objective can be achieved.
The research method used is exploratory qualitative method with a literature study approach and ediversion development methods. For this research, the data that has been collected from the results of literature review is then used as a basis for conducting the analysis and the analysis was carried out in a qualitative descriptive and further conclusions can be drawn based on the discussions of each problem raised. and data analysis techniques in this research include the first one is data collections and the two the second one is the presenting the proposed method and the third is data reductions as an analysis tools that serves to sharpen, to classify, to direct, and organize data. And the last one is conclusions. Total physical response with communicative approach, which is supported by the editions material of Indonesian culture introductions, is a new method that integrated learning English with cultural of Indonesian materials. For the new development of the method, namely TPRCA method, there are several learning activities that are initiated. Namely, the first one is practice using commands, or we can mention it as imperative drill. Usually, the practice using commands applied by the teacher in the classrooms. But in this case, the teacher will give instructions related to Indonesian culture and then students can answer it with several things related to the questions. The second one is dialogue or conversations or we can mention it as conversational dialogues. In this case, the teacher will divide students into several groups and determine the theme of the dialogues and then uh, the students can seeing the cultural performances or personal items that are usually blocks and related to Indonesian customs and then they start a conversations according to the theme and the third one is role play and or we can apply it in daily activities for example at home at schools uh, market and others this activity can be done without having to go to school however in the classroom learning situation, role-playing can be started with the teachers preparing a short demo text and then the students are asked to memorize and practice for a while. And the fourth is reading and writing activities to add or enrich vocabulary of students. And the last one is storytelling. In this case, students' communication skills are trained by telling like things that happen around them and it can be in the form of adaptation from wayang stories, fables, children's stories, Indonesian legend, folklore, and so on. For this idea, especially about TPRTA method, the development states can be arranged as follows. The first step is the analysis states and then the second is uh, design states, the third is development states, the fourth is implementation states, and the fifth is evaluation states. But for this research, we are doing all states by just uh, literature reviews. The conclusions that can be drawn from the discussions above are the development of TPRTA learning method based on the introductions of Indonesian culture starting from the problems and need analysis states, and then followed by the design states, development states, implementation states, and evaluation stage. Then, the implementation of TPRGA learning method based on introductions of Indonesian culture start from the initial activities and then core activities and the last one is closing activities. So, that's all my explanations and my presentations about my idea. I thank you for your attention and see you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.